Hey everyone, Tankenstein here. In this video, I'll be reviewing the DO-335 B2, a German Tier 4 premium strike aircraft that costs 4,880 GE and sits at 5.7 BR for AP, RB, and SIM. In this video, I'll go over its stats, roles, how it plays, strengths, and weaknesses, and then give it my final ratings and recommendation so that you can decide whether or not it's worth purchasing. As always, please like, comment, and subscribe for more content like this, as well as for guides and giveaways. But without further ado, let's get into it. So for stats, I'll just play it's RB stat card right here on the left side of the screen. In short, however, it has a 789 kilometer per hour top speed, which is granted by a pusher puller design with two inline engines in the fuselage, providing power, just two separate propellers in the front and the back of the plane. This makes the DO-335 B2 one of the fastest propeller planes in War Thunder, even though it sits at a lower BR than most super props. That said, for its roles and how it plays, it can do two things extremely well, perhaps better than most or all other aircraft at 5.7 BR. Those two things are intercept and close air support. I'll go over intercepting first, being that it is somewhat easier to explain than close air support, at least when it comes to the B2, but simply because close air support, you have so many options and so many great things that you can do with the B2. Basically being that the B2 has a decent rate of climb, but more so because it gets an air spawn and has incredibly powerful cannons, you will be at an incredible advantage when going after heavy bombers, strike aircraft, and other heavy fighters. The DO-335 B2 is more capable of destroying enemy heavy bombers than nearly all of its peers. As a single burst can take one down. Even if you do make it to altitude and find no bombers, you can take out enemy fighters with ease. Granted that you hit them on your first pass and if not, that they're heavy fighters too. Ultimately, you should avoid all dogfights while flying the B2, but you can still easily destroy fighters that are distracted by trying to shoot down friendly pilots. If that doesn't go well, you can turn on the gas and outrun any plane that you'll encounter, so long as they do not destroy your rear engine or that they don't have a speed advantage caused by themselves diving. This leads to role number two, close air support. Close air support is what the DO-335 B2 does best, and for my money, it's one of the best planes to do it in-game. It has two incredibly powerful 30mm MK-103 cannons that can punch through up to 95mm of armor with its armored target HVAP belt. The great thing is that the B2 has 350 shells between its two 30mm cannons, meaning that you will have an insane amount of time to continuously strafe targets. Even if you use 30 shells with each strafing run, it'll take you more than 10 runs to exhaust your ammunition. Just as good are the bomb options that the B2 carries, with it being able to load up to 1,000 kilograms of ordnance in the form of two 250 kilogram bombs and a single 500 kilogram bomb. The 500 kilogram bomb actually fits inside of your bomb bay, which totally eliminates any drag that you would have otherwise had caused by it, making the B2 far faster than other planes with the same payload. Even if you do exhaust your bombs and are running out of ammunition, as mentioned before, one of the best things to do in the B2 is to go after enemy planes that are distracted, as they make for easy targets. This is no more apparent than while performing air cover and ground RB, as you will be able to shoot down nearly every enemy plane out of the sky with ease, with each plane typically only needing a single trigger squeeze to bring them down. It is that easy. In a decent match, you can expect numerous assists and kills on ground targets, and typically get 1-3 to three kills against air targets. The B2 is amazing at close air support, and again, is one of the best in the game to do it, being at home in even much higher BR matches as well. And now for its strengths and weaknesses, it has an incredibly powerful primary armament, with the 30mm cannons being able to shoot down both planes and destroy well-armored ground forces with ease. Not only this, but the 20mm cannons are also great against fighters and unarmored ground forces, with both types of cannons having more ammunition than nearly all cannon-based close air support planes in-game. It also has a secondary armament, with two 250kg bombs and a single 500kg bomb, the latter of which sits in the bomb bay. You should be able to destroy at least one tank per match with these alone, and they can also go after naval targets. It's also extremely fast, as mentioned before, the DO-335 B2 is one of the fastest prop planes in-game and even without a working second engine, it still has enough power to take you back to base. Fourth, it has an extremely durable airframe with redundant engines. DO-335s are gluttons for punishment and can take a ton of hits before becoming inoperable. As such, even with major damage, you can oftentimes make it back to base for repairs. And finally, it has RP and Silver Lion bonuses. For its weaknesses, it is very large, which makes it an easy target. Secondly, it is extremely heavy, giving it terrible maneuverability at least when coming out of a strafing run. Avoid dogfights at all costs, especially against more maneuverable fighters like the Spitfire and P-51 Mustang. Third, not the easiest to fly, especially when facing enemy fighters. Beginners may have a tough time learning the ropes, largely because this is such a unique plane and is just incredibly odd when it comes to its layout and weight. And fourth, despite its high speed and amazing dive rate, it has fairly pedestrian acceleration. While not being terrible, you may find it difficult to climb sufficiently to intercept bombers while being at equal altitude with them, or worse yet, to regain speed after a strafing run. This can leave you vulnerable to attack or just as well 
while hitting the side of a mountain if you don't have the speed to recover quickly enough. So for my final ratings and recommendation on if you should purchase the DDO 335 B2 or not, for 4880 GE when not on sale or around $25 USD if you purchased your GE directly through Gaijin, the DDO 335 B2 presents a compelling choice. It isn't so expensive where people would consider it to be too expensive to purchase, and it also sits at a good tier and a good BR. It is also less expensive than similar BR pack planes like the Focke Wolf 190D13, albeit at the cost of not coming with premium time and 1000 GE as a bonus. Either way, the DO335 B2 is, in my opinion, fairly priced considering what you get. More so, it is a premium close air support and intercepting monster, which is a rare combination to find, especially one that's this good. Heck, even if you like naval, the B2 is a great option as it has a 500 kilogram bomb for taking out heavy cruisers and possibly larger ships if you land the bomb properly and smaller ships with its two 250 kilogram bombs, with smaller patrol vessels sinking due to its incredible 30 and 20 millimeter armament. It fulfills its main roles exceptionally well and does so while giving you great RP and silver line bonuses, which is sweet. It's even able to be up tiered substantially in ground RB, being relatively comfortable through that low 7.0 BR range. Additionally, the other plane at the same cost and around the same BR, the JU 288C, is very similar. It's a very tough competition, but I would say that this is much better for people who like ground RB and like close air support, whereas the JU 288C might be a slightly better grinder for those who like air RB. But again, user's preference, it's a fighter, close air support versus a pure bomber that can outrun and shoot down enemy fighters. But before I go any further, let's get into its ratings. For close air support, I have to give this B2 a 9 out of 10. While it is incredibly powerful and has an absolutely huge amount of ammunition plus a large bomb load, it can suffer from being quite heavy, which can make you a sitting duck against more nimble fighters or SBAA. Further, it can be a difficult plane to maneuver, meaning that you need to be careful when diving steeply for a strafing run. For grinding, I give it a solid 8 out of 10. While it is amazing, especially in close air support, and can suffer a little bit in air RB if you attract the attention of enemy fighters. It also needs to choose between carrying bombs and intercepting slash boom and zoom, as it is too heavy to do both in a single match, slightly limiting your overall RP potential, but you can say that about most prop planes. Overall though, I have had very few matches, if any, that resulted in no kills while flying the B2, whether in ground RB, air RB, and even air AB. For anti-air slash dogfighting, I'll give this B2 a 7 out of 10. While it can intercept fairly well, it isn't the best as BR in doing so, nor can it dogfight all too well. If you do get the drop on your enemy, however, you will almost always kill them. If you can master sneak attacks or just go after enemies that are tailing your allies, you should be able to get a few air to air kills per match with ease. While sneak attacks and intercepting combined are a solid 8.5 out of 10 for the DO335, I'd say dogfighting, at least when it comes to turning and shooting and all that, is more of a 4 out of 10. Though I weigh dogfighting a little bit less compared to intercepting, being that you shouldn't need to dogfight if you play the 335 correctly. At least most of the time, because ultimately you cannot decide what battles you get into all of the time. And finally, I give the DO335 B2 an 8 out of 10 overall, with value relative to cost being again an 8 out of 10. I think that this is a fairly priced plane for what you get, especially considering how capable it is. Unless you try to do something that simply is not good at doing, like dogfighting a Spitfire, you should succeed in nearly every match once you get used to how it flies. It can perform close air support better than most planes that sit even a full BR above it, as a more than competent interceptor, so long as Gaijin allows it to keep its air spawn. In all, this is a must buy for those that have a 5.7 BR German ground lineup that needs a great close air support, or for those that just want to grind the air tech tree by playing air matches, or even with 5.7 BR ships, such as the Prince Eugen. Although the JU-288C is also a great option for naval, but I already have a review for that plane linked below. Either way, this is one of the most unexpectedly great planes I've ever purchased in War Thunder, and to date, it's probably a top 5 out of every plane that I've ever flown in-game. Even out of sale, I'd say it's a good deal, but when it's on sale, well, that's a no-brainer. That all said, thanks so much for watching, everyone. Please like, comment, and especially subscribe, as that all means the world to me. But either way, thanks again for watching, and I'll see you all on the other side. Take care, everyone.